so the I want to say drama king of the boxing world is back in the headlines and I'm talking about Ryan King Garcia you know Brian Garcia has just been in the headlines for all the wrong reasons, personally. I mean, ever since the Devin Hanley fight, ever since before the Devin Hanley fight, he's just been on this downward spiral um, in his personal life, or whether it would be even in his professional life. He's just been doing the most outlandish, the most absurd, the most ridiculous things, and saying the most ridiculous things that he could possibly say. I mean, it's just, what is going on? This was not the Ryan Garcia we grew up watching. This is not the Ryan Garcia we've seen throughout the years boxing. You know, he was always a very talented fighter. Very. And he still is. Um, he definitely, you know, showed a lot of potential of becoming even a great fighter. But <clears throat> now, ever since his loss to Javante Davis last year, it just seems like the guy, like Javante Davis, knocked the screw loose in this kid. Like, he cannot just hold it together. And I know what he tried to say. Oh, well, I was put, putting, putting on an act. At this point, do we even believe that now? Do we even believe that Ryan Garcia was actually acting, you know, whatsoever? What do we believe? What do we actually think that Ryan Garcia was actually doing during that Devin Hanley fight? During the build-up to the Devin Hanley fight? Was he actually acting or was he actually showing his real true colors of how he really actually is? You know, was he actually having a nervous breakdown throughout the, the whole training camp and throughout the buildup of the fight? And now is he having a nervous breakdown now? What is going on with this kid? Ryan Garcia is doing and saying things so bad, giving himself such a bad name that he should be suspended indefinitely from boxing. I'm a big supporter of Ryan Garcia. I love Ryan Garcia. He's a very much... See, a musty TV fighter, an action pack fighter, but just the things you just cannot, cannot withhold, cannot stand, stand for. You know, if there's, if you want to be a villain in boxing, okay, no problem. Floyd Mayweather, um, there's been a few other great villains in the boxing world that showed us, like, hey, you know what, this guy's a bad guy, and we want to root for him to lose. That's fine. But saying some of the things that he is saying, a lot of fighters didn't really go that level there may have been a few there may have been a few in the past that done certain things and said certain things who knows but right now it's just if you want to be a villain you're gonna have to change your approach and you're gonna have to do something completely different because you can't be loved by the fans and hated by the fans at the exact same time and right now i don't even think he's even being loved by the fans i think he's being hated so much that it's to the point where nobody wants to see him lose because at the end of the day, people are going to pretty much say they don't even want to see him at all. So he really needs to take a break from boxing. He needs to take a break from everything, from social media, from being in front of the cameras, from everything. And collect himself. Take care of himself. Think to himself, like, what am I doing? This isn't me. Or maybe it is you and you need to fix you. That's just my personal opinion, but let me know what you guys think about um, Ryan Garcia and what he should what he should do and what boxing should do with Ryan Garcia. Let me know in the comments, guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.